What's going on guys P will back here for another video in this video We are doing a day in the life at AIT and obviously I'm not in AIT right now But I have written out your entire schedule uh, minute by minute on uh, my little notes here on my laptop So we're gonna go through it much like I did in my basic training day in the life video You can expect the same thing. So let's get right into your day in the life at AIT So your day in the life at AIT is a little bit different than your day in the life at basic training so obviously you're going to have different privileges and you're gonna have your phone and you know you're gonna be able to go to like the defect kind of on your own for the most part just little things like that you know get up instead of lights on it's like just get up and get to PT formation at your time but let's get right into your AIT day in the life schedule so 0445 is going to be your wake up now that was what time I woke up it gave me time to you know get the gunk out of my eyes and get, just get up get changed uh, shave you could get up at five or five, what, however fat long it takes you to get up and get ready, you can get up at whatever, but you have to be at PT formation at 0515. PT formation is actually at like 0525, but you have to be there 10 minutes prior. Your PG and your platoon sergeants are gonna make it that way. But you have to be there 10 minutes prior. Uh, 5.30 to 6.30 is going to be PT. Uh, it's gonna be your standard Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays run. Tuesdays and Thursdays is gonna be push-ups and sit-ups. 0.630 to 0.7 is chow. Now, you're not gonna to wanna to take all that time for chow because if you just take, if you take 30 minutes, you're gonna be pushing it to get ready for formation because you have blocked off time for 07 to 0710 for hygiene and it you know it takes probably three minutes to walk to the barracks and get up into your room and then it's gonna take some time to shower so most of the time I would not even eat breakfast just to give me time to get showered and get changed because you have to be at marching formation at 715 class formation at 715 and you're gonna stand there from about 715 to 7.30 and then 7.30 to 8 o'clock is when you're going to march to class. 30 minutes to march to class. Yes, it took us 30 minutes to march about a mile to class because it's slow and you're gonna be calling cadence the whole way. It's your standard, you know, military formation. And yeah, once you get to the classroom, you'll you'll halt or whatever and you'll call them from the, file from the left, call them left and you'll march into class. That's gonna take about eight, uh, about 15 minutes to get everybody into their class and get you know the teachers settled in and they're gonna start teaching from about 8.15 to what do I have here? 8.15 to 10 hundred hours is class. You're gonna be in class studying, doing whatever, you know, taking a test. Test days are a little bit different, but a standard day. Uh, you're gonna be in class. 10 hundred hours to 1020 is going to be your break. You get two breaks a day. Uh, and for me, I went to AIT at Fort Huachuca. I probably should have said that at, be at the beginning. Um, but you'll get about a 20 minute break. My instructor gave us like 30, 40 minute break sometimes, but you're just going to sit outside. They'll have like vending machines. Don't spend all your money at the vending machines, but they'll have monster and that type of thing. And it's just kind of like a little socializing thing, a little break uh, from the classroom. 1020 to 1130 is class. 1130 to 1225 is lunch and that also like that's your lunch get that's your lunch time but that encompasses getting to the defect it took us about 10 15 minutes to get loaded up on the bus and then drove over to the defect and then you got to get out and wait in line at the defect and lunch is always crowded at the Weinstein defect it's probably crowded at wherever you're going to AIT and then 1225 to 1245 is, you know, get back to class. You've got to be formed up 10 minutes prior for lunch formation. So your lunch is really only till 1215. So if you're lucky, you get about 20 minutes to sit down and eat, which is plenty of time, but that's on a good day. You get about 20 minutes to sit down and enjoy your meal. 1225 to 1245 is get back to class. 1245 to 1430 is class. 1430 to about 14... Uh, 50 is your next break. Once again, it's social hour. Get you a monster. You get through the day. 1450 to 1630 is going to be class again. And then from about 1630 to 1645, you're, you're going to get done with class at about 1630. And then for about 15 minutes, you'll have a, we had a schedule of people who had to clean the classroom, the hallways, like mop, sweep, and all of that type of thing. 1645 to 1700 is standard formation because you're gonna be formed up and then you're just gonna sit there and wait on your platoon sergeant or your drill sergeant to come back and uh, pick you up from class and march you back to the barracks. 1700 to 1730 is march to the barracks. Just how you came to the classroom, you gotta march back to the barracks that same way. 1730 to 1800 is closeout formation and that's where you're also gonna do your mail. They're gonna put out any, you know, events for the coming days. A lot of the times we had a lot of stupid games, but this is a normal day. Sometimes we, our drill sergeant would come out and say, all right, listen up privates, 
your next hit time is 1830 right here on the drill pad. So that gave you an hour to march over to the DFAC and eat. You know, they'll play games with you like that, but this is your standard day if everything goes well. Sometimes you have formations to like phase up and, and stuff like that at like 1830 or, you know, if they're just wanting to mess with you, 1830 formation. But... 1730 to 1800 closeout slash mail, 1800 to 1945. So you get an hour and 45 minutes. This encompasses chow and your personal time. So, you know, go eat at the DFAC, come back, shower, do personal hygiene, and, you know, maybe catch like a 45 minute episode of your TV show or whatever. Because at 1945 to 2000, you have your bed check formation. Uh, bed check formation is actually at 20 hundred, but they make you stand out there 15 minutes prior. Bed check formation can go a lot of different ways. Sometimes you're the first floor. So we had three barracks buildings, of th three floors in three different barracks buildings that the drill sergeant had to check. So you could be standing out there for like 30 minutes. Uh, if, you're, if you're messing around and not quiet, you know, they'll skip you and stuff like that. So you could be out there for 30, 45 minutes. It was, it was... We probably averaged about a 15 minute wait, so about 2015 before we actually got uh, released back into our rooms, but it could be longer. It could be an hour sometimes, uh, and 20 to 2100 is technically your study time. I personally never had to study, so tw and my roommates and I just agreed. We, we chose to get an extra hour of sleep. They're not coming in there to check if you're studying. It's like... It's more personal time to study if you need to, but 20 to 2100 is study time sleeping time and then 2100 to 05 uh, 0445 is sleep and get up and do it all again the next day so that is your day in the life at AIT your daily schedule I hope you got something out of it I know a lot of you have questions about AIT we talk a lot about basic training and, and stuff like that but this is your AIT day in the life I hope you enjoyed it got something out of it if you like the video please like the video if you're new subscribe leave your questions and comments down in the comment section I always get back and uh, keep up with me on social media as you can ask your questions over there I get you hitting me up all the time so I hope you enjoyed it I hope you got something out of it and I will see you in the next video